Hi there everyone, today I'm going to tie a small fly for uh, for mullets. This is a uh, fishing, a type of fishing, fishing fly fishing for mullets that uh, that has been expanding quite a lot in uh, in Denmark over the past years. It's a very very easy fly, we're going to use some chartreuse marabou and uh, some uh, some nunlet wire and that's it. So I'm going to take a small, uh, small bundle of nunlet wire and I'm going to double it and fold it over and double it again, like so. So I have, uh, well, it's it's four times the strand here, and then I'm gonna tie these on top of the hook because this fly is gonna be an upside down fly to uh, to ensure that it can stand on the, on the bottom, um, uh, uh, so so the mullet can uh, can cruise around and find it and pick it up uh, without you having to actively uh, retrieve it. So like that. Just gonna cover the the wire here with uh, with some uh, some tying thread, and what we're gonna do is basically we're just gonna make a small tail of marabou, not a very big one, small one here. I'm taking some marabou fibers, like so. Actually, I'm just gonna double this, I think. Tie this down here. This is a size eight hook. Uh, the Chimco, uh, the Chimco twenty four fifty seven. A very nice hook. Uh, nice hook. Uh, nice hooking properties. Uh, not relatively cheap. Uh, very very sturdy. Uh, whoops. Uh, that was not very very well done. I'm gonna add some more here. I was not I'm not pleased with that so I'm just gonna add a bit more marabou here. Like so. Basically this is gonna be a bit like a <laughs> a really easy chartreuse fully burger. And and then again it's gonna differ a lot from that because we're gonna have a wing standing up in the middle of the fly to cover the hook shank. The hook point and stuff like that. So as you can see, a small, a small tail, uh, and then I'm gonna turn over the hook like this. I'm gonna just adjust the camera a little, so everything is gonna be a bit more easy to see for you. Like that, I guess. Like that, yes. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of all this leftover stuff and just. Uh, just apply that as dubbing to uh, to the tying thread like this. We're gonna brush that out later on, so it's gonna be a bit more bushy, uh, a bit more. It's gonna it's it's gonna come out a bit more. The the, the fibers are gonna stand out a bit more. Add some more bulk some more fluffiness I guess you could say to the fly here so just add some more of this marabou feather leftover stuff and the idea is this is gonna look like some seaweed or something like that it's gonna stand upside down on the on the, on the sea seabed the sea floor and uh, and uh, then the mullet is gonna find it and pick it up and you can set the hook and well <laughs> uh, uh, hold on to your your hat or whatever you say in, in English because uh, mullets are fairly strong it's a nice fish um, I must say uh, that my personal experiences with mullets on the fly is relatively uh, relatively uh, uh, limited um, I've caught one and that was a long ago, and that was not on a on a on a on a, on a fly made specifically for for a mullet. It was actually uh, kind of like a bit of a coincidence. I saw a school of mullets, uh, skipped school for three days, uh, fished for them, and then finally hooked one. And um, so what I did now, I took a bundle of marabou, and I tied it down, so it's gonna stick directly up into the air, like so. And uh, the reason I did this is because this is going to cover 
this is gonna cover the hook tip so it's not gonna be as long as this I'm gonna I'm gonna tear off a lot of these uh, a lot of these so it's it's not gonna have that long length I'm gonna do that later on and then I'm gonna tie on top of that so it's gonna it's gonna point backwards like so I don't know if this makes any sense at all but as you can see all this here it's, it's kind of like you're making a dry fly wing. Yeah. So it just stands up into the air. And then I'm gonna do some uh, more of these leftover stuff for dubbing. Just making sure it's tied down and it stays down, like so. Of course, if you want, if you want to fly that uh, that kind of floats and uh, and drifts more, you can of course just leave out the uh, leave out the uh, the the wire uh, waiting Wait, waiting not waiting but you know the the, the you just leave out the the weight uh, the added weight to the fly. And uh, as I was saying, this is size eight. And many people would uh, would do this in ten or twelve even, like so. In Danish, this is called the uh, the Green Avenger. Um, a very very this is a very very famous uh, famous mullet fly in Denmark. Quite possibly uh, the the best of the most uh, famous of all times. So now I'm just gonna prune these. Rip them off with my fingers, not cut them because if you if you cut them with the pliers, it's gonna look awful. So just snap it off using your fingers. As you can see, and there is kind of like the the dry fly wing standing up here, the small tail here, and uh, and uh, that covers the uh, that covers the uh, covers the uh, the hook, the part at the point of the hook, and just dragging out a bit of these materials so it's nice and fluffy here as you can see and then you have it a small bundle of seaweed ready to uh, to lay on the, the sea floor waiting for a mullet well those were the words thank you for tuning in